welcome back everyone to a sunny and warm Sylvan Woods Raceway. Kale Trickle here, as always, with my partner, Senior Junior the Third. After round one, are you ready for round two to begin SJ3? Absolutely, Kale. The GTC Diecast Racing League inaugural race has been exciting so far. I know I can't wait for the second round. Here's the matchups for round two. We saw some great racing in round one. Now it's on the round two race one and we're going to take a look at some drivers and their cars as we get ready. First up is D3 Android in his purple number eight from Rebel Racing. D3 drives the Hot Wheel Formula E Gen 2 car. He doesn't say much in the driver me. He tends to twitch a lot like he has a loose wire or something, but it's nice enough Android. Senior discount is next up in his lime green Shelby Cobra. Senior drives for Ogre Racing and they tend to like their older model cars. This Shelby's a vintage 1982. Bringing an older car can be a little tricky. The extra weight really helps on those long straightaways, but its older axles make it loose in those turns. We definitely saw some control issues with Senior in round one. Hopefully you can get together in round two. Speaking of control issues, Hog from River Rally Racing is up next in that black Porsche 959. Short wheelbase cars can be difficult in the die cast racing. They tend to get loose and a lot of them can be difficult to get back under control. Well, Hog's the senior driver from River Valley. We'll see if he can use that twin turbo engine to his advantage. And here comes Cornu from Snail Racing. Cornu is also driving a vintage car. The blue number 10 is a 1986 Hot Wheel Geo Tracker. And again, it will have more weight than some of the newer cars. Control will also be a deciding factor for Cornu. Well, in round one, we saw Cornu advance because of good car control. Here Cornu comes out of turn one in last place, but using his weight advantage, catches up to the pack in the second turn. Then he'll take advantage of the mayhem caused by TK By and Jolene. Seen in the instant replay that Geo Tracker gets through the carnage and moves into second place. Sometimes it's all about control. You're right, Kale. Cornu did show some skills in round one. It's important to remember that extra weight in his vintage Geo Tracker gave Cornu a faster track time, allowing him ahead of Jolene to advance into round two. Well, there you have it. And as we can see in our bracket, we're set up for an exciting round two. Wow, this crowd's definitely ready for some racing. Just listen to them. They're hyped and so am I. You're not kidding, SJ. I'm hyped too. They're ready for some racing. I'm ready for some racing. The folks at home are ready for some racing. Let's get to round number two. Here we are in heat number one of race one. D3 is on the pole, Cornu Espera on the outside. Looks like D3 glitched at the starting line. Coming out of turn one, Cornu is getting a huge push from Senior Discount. Headed into the tricky turn two, they are sideways. Here we follow them into turn number three. And what happened to Senior Discount? Cornu with the win, but we're going to have to go back and see what happened to Senior. Here in the instant replay, you can see Senior battling D3. Closes the door shut on him. Only makes him go sideways to have to do it, though. Let's move on to heat number two. Starting heat number two on the pole will be Senior Discount. And he gets a great jump and a huge lead out of turn number one. Bringing that old car really pays off in the straightaway. Out of the tricky turn number two, Senior Discount gets into the guardrail. Will that slow him down? It looks like it'll actually be D3 with the win. Senior in second, Cornu in third. Here on the instant replay, you can see D3 go low and just blows by Senior Discount in the final turn. As I said, those are older cars helping this railway, but it really hurt you in those turns. This has been some incredibly exciting racing, Senior. I'm loving it. The fans are loving it too. Just listen to them roar. And why not? We have three racers tied at six points apiece after just two heats. Hog has had some rough beginnings, a few blown passing opportunities, but he's starting from the front row for the heats three and four. Let's see if he can turn it around. Heat number three starts with Hog on the pole and everybody gets a good jump, but Senior Discount pulls away in the second stretch. Will he be able to hold third turn two? He does, but nobody else can. 
But as you can see, that old card's really paying off on those fairways, giving him a large lead to this victory. Yep, and Hong Kong's in second, followed by D3 and Cornu. Cornu finishes backwards, one of my old tricks. Let's see how Cornu got in this situation in this instant replay. As you can see, Hollow Cornu and D3 all enter into turn two together, pushing each other. And D3 gets into the side of Cornu. I don't think D3 was exactly functioning properly. And as we enter heat number four, Senior Discount already has advancement wrapped up. Cornu starts on the pole here in heat number four. He needs a win, and he's getting a huge push from Senior Discount. Look at that coming out of turn two. They are way ahead. D3 in the back was very squirrely. Can he hang on? It looks like it's going to be a tight race, and it was. We have Cornu with the win, and that makes him advance as well. What a great race. I'm sure the owners of Snail Racing and Ogre Racing are proud of their drivers. They both showed some great skills out there today. Both deserve to move on to the semifinals. You're right, SJ3. We did see some great racing out there today. But, Kale, who do we have lined up for race two of round two? Well, in race two, we'll see Megan Babushka, Quentin Beck, Boo Boo Bear, and The Stig. Megan Babushka? She was the one in the armored truck, right? That's right. I certainly am excited to see her drive, but the other drivers put up some good scores in round one as well. It should be a good race. The crowd certainly seems pumped up for the next one. Well, that wraps up race one of our second round of the GTC Racing League. The second race will be coming up soon. For my partner, Senior Junior III, I am Kale Trickle, and we'll see you down the track.